In this presentation, I will give you XTCN pairs. These pairs are very useful while solving the objective questions which we will see in the coming presentations. And if you remember the introductional lecture about the complex exponential Fourier series, we saw when XT is real, CN is conjugate symmetric and when XT is conjugate symmetric, CN is real. So they are called as XTCN pairs and like these two pairs, there are other pairs also. Like when XT is imaginary, CN is conjugate anti-symmetric and when XT is conjugate anti-symmetric, CN is imaginary. When XT is real as well as even, CN is real as well as even. When XT is imaginary and even, CN is also imaginary and even. When XT is real and odd, CN is imaginary and odd. When XT is imaginary and odd, CN is real and odd. So these are the XT CN pairs and they are very important while solving the objective questions. We have already seen the proof of first two pairs and in this presentation I will prove another two pairs, this one and this one. So let's move to the first case in which we will prove when CN is imaginary plus even, XT is also imaginary plus even. For this I will take one example. In this example, XT is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity j cos n pi multiplied to e power j n pi t. Now if you compare this with the standard complex exponential Fourier series, you will find j cos n pi is the complex exponential Fourier coefficient cn and you can see it is purely imaginary, it is purely imaginary as well as it is even because we have cos n pi and cos is the even function. So cn in this case is imaginary and even. So we are having this case and we already know from the xt cn pairs that when cn is imaginary plus even, xt is also imaginary plus even. So this implies xt is also imaginary plus even. But this is what we need to prove. So let's move to our proof xt we can write as j cos pi e power j pi t. I am considering n equal to 1 and I am also considering n equal to minus 1. You can consider other values of n also but to prove this case I am considering n is equal to 1 and n is equal to minus 1. When n is equal to 1, we have j cos pi e power j pi t and when n is equal to minus 1, we will have j cos minus pi e power minus j pi t. We already know cos pi is equal to minus 1 and cos minus pi is also equal to minus 1. So we can write xt equal to minus j e power j pi t minus j e power minus j pi t. In the next step, I will take minus j common. So we have xt equal to minus j common. Inside the bracket, we will have e power j pi t plus e power minus j pi t. This is what we have. And from here, we can write 2 times cos pi t. So xt is equal to minus j 2 times cos pi t. This is what we have. And you can clearly see xt is imaginary and even. It is imaginary because we have j here and it is even because we have cosine function. So we have successfully proved that when CN is imaginary plus even, XT is also imaginary plus even. So we are done with the proof of this particular XT-CN pair. 
Now we will move to the proof of this XTCN pair and for this I will take another example. In this example, signal XT is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity j sin n pi by 2 multiplied to e power j n pi t. And now we will compare this with the standard complex exponential Fourier series and after comparison we can see that cn is equal to j sin n pi by 2. So it is clear that cn is imaginary as well as odd because sine function is the odd function and from xtcn pair we already know when cn is imaginary and odd xt is going to be real and odd. So from xtcn pair we know xt is going to be real and odd. So let's prove it quickly. Again I will consider the case when n is equal to 1 and n is equal to minus 1. You may consider other cases also. Now we will move to our first step in which we will put n equal to 1 and minus 1. So xt we can write as j sine pi by 2 putting n equal to 1 e power j pi t plus j sine minus pi by 2 e power minus j pi t putting n equal to minus 1 and we know sine pi by 2 is equal to 1 and sine minus pi by 2 is equal to minus 1 so we can write xt is equal to j e power j pi t minus j e power minus j pi t we will take j as common and we will have e power j pi t minus e power minus j pi t this is what we have as xt and in place of e power j pi t minus e power minus j pi t we can write 2 times j sine pi t so xt will be equal to j multiplied to 2 times j sine pi t or we can write xt is equal to 2 j square sine pi t j square is equal to minus 1 so finally we have xt equal to minus 2 sine pi t and you can clearly see we are having we are having xt as real plus odd so we have successfully proved that when cn is imaginary and odd xt is real and odd so we are done with this particular xt cn pair and i want you to remember all the xtcn pairs because we will use them in the coming presentations